little bit silly for me that's art related but kind of not art related. I'm gonna be customizing my sketchbook and my journal with decoupage. I got some Mod Podge and I'm ready to go. And I got inspired to do this because I'm currently taking Jonathan Van Ness's self-care class on Skillshare. <laughs> Love Jonathan. And in the class, you're supposed to make a little self-care journal that you decorate all freaking cute and decoupage and however you want it to be. And I was like, oh my gosh, I should do that for my sketchbook and for a journal for me. Speaking of Skillshare, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you, Skillshare. If you don't know, which you probably do, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of online classes updated on the regular with so many different creative topics. Ones that I like to take are about music and fine art and video production. Obviously, I super recommend this Jonathan Van Ness class. It's called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook. Self-care is important. I think self-care is important. And it's where I got inspired to do this cute little project. The first thousand of my subscribers who click the link in the description will get a free one month premium trial subscription of Skillshare for free. So check that out. It also supports me too, so. Anyway, let's go make my books cute. So I got two. I wanted to do both my new sketchbook, which is completely blank, for painting and stuff. It's a mixed media one. And I wanted one that's like a super low stress that I can draw in, put notes in. So I got this really cute little pink one. It's by Artislav. Got it in Michaels for like six bucks, I think. Not super thick or crazy expensive high quality paper. And also like you can see like the little cut seam. And then I've got a little collection of odds and ends that I'm gonna use on my books. I'm gonna walk you through what those are right now. I'm gonna get shift the angle to show you all my little things. So I've collected a bunch of little items that I potentially want to put on my two little books here. I'm not making myself add all of it if I don't want to, but I just grabbed a bunch of things that kind of inspired me and collected them in a way that I can just toss them on, decide whether or not I want to use them. So these are cute little clown girl stickers that I got from Chris Hong, who's like one of my favorite illustrators ever. This is a birthday card that has like really cute little, little print on it. I also like, Wanted to add some things that I really, really love, but like my printer's broken, so I couldn't print out any like photos. So I drew uh, a couple little things like really fast, like this very anatomically inaccurate poodle. If it'll, there we go. Anyone who draws dogs, feel free to make fun of me in the comments for my uh, dog anatomy. I did a little Bigfoot whose face kind of got a little bit smudged up. Yeah, he's having problems, that's okay. And then a tiny little ghost. I also got a magazine, because how are you gonna decoupage without a magazine of uh, the national parks? Love national parks. I also have some fabric with little chihuahuas on it, because uh, my little beanie baby needs to be represented. None of these really look like her. The closest is kind of that one. I don't know how I'm gonna put it on there, but I have a little bit of yarn, because I love to crochet. And then I have this gold, flaky, foily kind of stuff. I have never applied this to anything in my entire life. I have no idea how. I also have some little paint markers and uh, Mod Podge and brushes. The necessity of this whole deal. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna lay out both of my books, get a composition and a feel that I really like. And then when I'm done, I'll like carefully take everything off, keeping the composition, put the glue down, stick everything back on, do another layer. That's the plan at least, we'll see how it goes. So. I think this tissue paper could be cute on here. So with this, so with my clown girls, but I have to pick one or two. Got my little smudgy face Bigfoot. He might not make the cut. I want one of these chihuahuas on there. Cute! I think I'm gonna cut out these two here. They're definitely not Bindi's colors, but they are for sure cutie pies. This little drawer looks stressed out to hell, which absolutely represents my baby because she is an anxious, anxious one. Maybe this clown girl. Maybe both, can I fit both? I'm taking this nice, sweet birthday message. I'll save this part and I'll take this part and maybe do like some strips. That's like really cute. Oh, I'm into that, okay. <laughs> And maybe some stars. Like if I cut out a couple little stars with this tissue paper. Ooh, that might be cute. 
cute overlapping my drawings a little bit. I want to add like a yarn thing on here somewhere because I love, 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 love yarn. I kind of like that. I'm going to set it to the side, see how I feel about it, and come back. And meanwhile, I'm going to focus on this one. So on this guy, I want to add maybe some stickers, maybe some of these postcards. And this is where I want to take out this National Parks magazine and kind of flip through and see if I like I think I want to choose one photo to kind of fill this first and then layer things on top. That's pretty too. I was thinking something more blue though. Oh, oh, I love this water. A little kayak, that might be pretty to add. I love kayaking. Or is that a canoe? It's a canoe, isn't it, huh? Don't mind me, I don't know nothing about no water vehicles. I can use this cute canoe photo or this torso of this definitely dead 1800s man. That would be really good too, huh? I think I'm gonna tear out this Yosemite page and kind of glue it as my like, main backdrop. So that's going to be the like main backdrop. This is harder than the other one. I think because I'm using so many square shapes, I think if I rounded them a little bit more, it might be easier. I'll take some of these elements and I'm going to shrink them down a little bit so maybe they're easier to add in like this little kayak canoe sorry so I'm gonna take letters from here to make the words create on this, just as a reminder to myself that, that I need to do that. This is where this one's gonna be. What I'm gonna do now for both of mine, um, I'm going to carefully remove this. I'm gonna lay down a layer of glue on my little Mod Podge and then I'm gonna stick everything on. In the meantime, I'm gonna charge my battery because it's gonna die. It's time for me to get some glue on my sketchbooks. I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe up a little bit more. Oh, this is so hard. Now, I've never done this before, so this is a mystery how this is gonna turn out, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint with the glue some like little lines. Look at this. Gold. Is the glue drying already? <laughs> this is already a total complete failure. Oh wait, maybe, wait, 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 wait. No, it worked in a couple places. I think my glue dried too fast. Ooh, well it's not exactly what I expected, but I actually really like that. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little more glue a little more. And you know what, next time, maybe I'll Google it. That's kind of actually really fun. And then I'm gonna do a coat of the Mod Podge just straight on it. I'm gonna let this dry while I work on my other one. resorted to my fingers now. That's, that's, ah, that's how this is going. And 
I think I'm not gonna add my yarn because I think it's just gonna be too textured. So I'm gonna set that over here to dry and come back to look at this. And I've got some gold flakes stuck in here, which kind of looks cool. I have my little gold things. I'm gonna let this dry and come back. Before I do my last little layer of Mod Podge, I want to add some like a little bit of color or lines or something with these paint pens. I've never tried these before, but I thought these two colors would look really cute here. Maybe even some of this purple. Okay, I gotta think about this. What do I want to do? I wanted stars on here, which did not quite work out. So maybe I could draw some little stars. So they did end up a little messy, and I honestly kind of like the messy roughness of it because I want these to be a place for me to like be messy and to like get super creative and not have to worry about perfection. I don't want these to be perfection. So this one, I went for a um, nature theme, right? And I did like an underwater part here. This is like the surface of the water with a little kayaker. We've got the mountains of Yosemite here and then some clouds in the top. Added some gold foiling haphazardly, cause I could, some lines haphazardly, and then the words create using little letters. Just as like a little inspirational cover. So when I go in here, because I usually, I like to paint nature and water and clouds and stuff like that. So when I go in to sketch in this sketchbook, I'm definitely gonna be inspired by the cover. This one, this one's my favorite, is for me for whatever. It's a paper that's not as thick like I talked about before, so I can't paint in here, but sketching, writing, ideas, whatever I want, I can put in here with this really cute little cover with clowns and poodles and ghosts and chihuahuas, my favorite things. So thank you, Jonathan. So thank you, Jonathan Van Ness, for inspiring me to make these. Also, please do not use me as your point of reference for decoupaging. Maybe listen to somebody who's more experienced in Mod Podge than me, because I don't know anything about it, and I just kind of went for it. I am not experienced in these things at all, and this is what I created. So if you don't have any experience in decoupage or any kind of like custom covers for books or sketchbooks or anything like that, I don't either. Give it a try, make your sketchbook fun, make something interesting that grabs your attention, that inspires you when you go to make something in your book. I'll see you in the next video.